Hello, Defense Attorney Mark Rosenfeld. I wanted to do another short video about the Department of Motor Vehicles and a recent victory I had receiving a set aside. That is where the DMV takes no action against the driver's license. The DMV on DUI cases, alcohol DUIs, attempts to suspend the license based on their own hearing. They have three, maybe four issues, but usually three issues that they are trying to prove that the officer had reasonable suspicion to believe the person was driving under the influence, that the person was lawfully arrested, and the chemical test, breath or blood test, was administered, and the result was a 0.08 or above. I've had a lot of success using expert testimony to rebut the evidence of the department. The department may present uh, expert testimony, officer testimony, sworn statements of the police officer in an effort to prove these different issues or different elements of their case. When it comes to the 0 .08, the Department of Motor Vehicles must prove that the alcohol level was at a 0 .08 or above within three hours of the time of driving, but they also must prove that the test was administered correctly and it's trustworthy and reliable. And they may do that and give that issue to themselves if we don't present a defense. But if we bring in an expert or other witness to testify, we can shift the burden, we can shift the case in our favor. And I've had success lately using an expert to show that when a blood test is done, uh, particularly in Los Angeles with this you know, one case that I recently won, that the blood was not drawn, maintained, and tested according to the law, according to scientific principles, and therefore it was not trustworthy or reliable. So even though the department believed in the beginning of the hearing that they were able to prove it, once we brought in an expert, we had that expert lay a foundation and explain what the problems with the blood testing was in this case, and it's not unusual, every case is different, I've done this many times, is bringing the expert to show that the blood is not taken and maintained and tested in compliance with Title 17 of the California Code of Regulations. It is not trustworthy and reliable, and it does not accurately reflect the person's blood alcohol level. And by putting on this evidence, we can convince the DMV hearing officer, we can shift the burden and show them that the driver was not actually driving with a blood alcohol level that's a 0.08 or above, that the information that they began with was not trustworthy or reliable, and they cannot prove by a preponderance of the evidence what the alcohol level was. This can result and recently did result for me in a set aside, which is like a not guilty at the DMV, and a victory where my client gets to keep his driver's license and has no administrative action against him at all. If you've got questions about the California Department of Motor Vehicles or handling DUI administrative per se hearings, I'm always happy to talk. You can reach me directly at 310-424-3145. I handle cases in Southern California. Stay safe.